hello friends welcome back to aria budget thank you so much for joining me yet again in another video in today's video we are going to be reviewing our budget checking our calendar and all of our transactions to make sure that we are ready to close out the budget and see how we did compare our actual numbers with what we had budgeted at the beginning of the month so let's get started if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for joining me once more i really appreciate you so much for your constant support but if this is your first time here welcome i really enjoy having you here i am a single parent just showcasing my journey here to paying off all of my debt so if that sounds like content you might find enjoyable please consider subscribing as i would love to have you join the family so with that being said let's go ahead and take a look at our calendar view so this is my bill calendar this i create to technically display what bills are paid with what paycheck because i do budget by paycheck so with my first paycheck which was the last of june i paid all of the bills that were due within those two weeks and then the following two weeks are paid with my second paycheck i did get paid yesterday uh, on the 28th today's the 29th i'm gonna try to record and just upload the video right away so i did get paid yesterday but that paycheck for me it's the beginning of a new month my budget is different i don't know how others do it but i budget based on my uh, paycheck so technically today is the last day of um, the month of june the month of july for me in my budget overview i am done with this month i am ready to move on and with the new paycheck i will start the month of july so that <laughs> the month of august i don't know my, my numbers are my months are messed up so with that being said let's go ahead and review to make sure that our, all of our bills have been paid and nothing is spending um, we already paid this this credit card which was everything in green if you're new here you might not know this uh, everything in green is paid with my side hustle which is over eats i don't make enough on my day job so i have to rely on my um, side hustle income to cover my minimum payments on some of my um, credit cards and things like that okay so uh, for Verizon we did pay it Capital One also paid Chase is paid my personal loan the due date change uh, I changed the date from the 29th to the 30th so technically it will be done on the next month but I didn't do that uh, until the beginning of the of the month um, so that one hasn't been paid, but it will be paid by next week. So, but I'm not going to mark it off because it hasn't been paid yet. Um, on the 21st, we did already pay for that. This is on auto pay, so it was already deducted. I already sent the money for my, to my sister for Netflix and my PCNG bill, which is my gas and electric was paid. That has been paid off. Um, for this month so now that we have made sure that everything has been paid let's go ahead and review our transactions i didn't share week three's um transactions but i did document them in here i will review them with you now over uh real quick so that you guys can see and we can do the math together on week three for gas i started with 20 dollars, which was my remaining balance from week two then i added 25 dollars because i got paid on here on the 18th uh from uber eats i usually try to allocate 70 dollars, but it was very slow week and i had to pay one of my credit cards so i was only able to allocate 25 dollars, and i took 15 dollars from a buffer i had in my bank account so with that being said, we had uh, a total of $60 for Uber for my gas and all of the funds were spent. So I had a gas transaction on the 17th uh, for $30 and then another transaction on the 22nd for gas once more uh, for $30 again. $60 spent on that week, uh, which left us with $0 to begin week four. For household, we had five dollars, 
and there was no spending on this week uh, for household. So we still had the $5 remaining. Then for toiletries, also nothing spent on week three for toiletries. We had a beginning balance of $8.25. So our remaining balance is still the same for week four, $8.25. For groceries, we had $10.42 for groceries. We didn't spend anything within this uh, week, within the days of the 16th to 22nd. So we still had $10.42. For eating out, we ended week two with $20.49. I did have some eating out on the uh, here on the 15th. Um, when I did this, it was the 15 actually. So at the time that I did my budget for week two, I didn't include that here. I spent $15.23. So that I included it with week three's budget. Uh, so on the 17th, I also had an eating out transaction for McDonald's for $8 for $1, sorry, and 38 cents. These were both transactions done the same day. It was uh, one within the same, uh, like at the same time, I would say. I do have the McDonald's app. If you don't have it, please download it. It's great. So I try to use my coupons. And so I bought a drink for with a medium fry for free. And then I also bought my nuggets for $5, 20 piece nuggets. So I had my fries and my nuggets with like seven bucks or something like that. Guys, I had to pause for a quick second because the numbers weren't adding up here. I don't know why I messed up here. So I had to go back into my transactions and I miswrote what I spent here. It was $11.26. So apologies for that. But anyway, let me bring my calculator here now. And um, now I feel like that threw me off my, my whole thing. So if we do the math for 11.26 plus 1.38 plus $5.33 equals $17.97 uh, that we spent on eating out on week three. So we had a total balance of $2.52. That's what we started on week four. Uh, if you notice these days that are empty, I didn't spend anything on those days. So on week three, I had a one, two, three, no spend days, which is great. Great job for me, hooray. So for week four, we are um, reviewing, let me just, I don't wanna confuse you guys with that. We are reviewing our expenses from the 23rd to the 29th. So let's go on and begin with my gas category. So for gas, I did get paid um, for Uber Eats on the 25th. Uh, so I allocated $7, $70 for my gas, added $70. And we had one transaction for gas of $30 on the 25th. So on the 25th, we had $30, which is what we spent so far. My gas is half half a tank as of today, so I don't think I'll spend anything. If anything, it will be probably tomorrow or on Monday, probably by Monday. By Monday, I will add some more gas, I don't know. But again, that will be considered for the new month. So technically, I am ending the month of July with a total balance $40 for gas for the remaining of the week. Then moving on to household. If we see, we didn't spend anything on household. So, so we had a $5 uh, remaining balance for household. I do need some gloves and Ajax for do some cleaning so i might just use that those five dollars but i will wait to include that in my new budget then moving along over oh, my next category uh moving along to toiletries i also didn't buy anything for toiletries as of today uh and i don't plan on doing anything i do need some hair products uh so i will probably be using that uh for the new month to add extra to my uh, to my budget so we have eight dollars and 25 cents for groceries i did have one transaction for groceries i went to the supermarket and spent six dollars and 24 cents we didn't really add anything for groceries but we spent six dollars and 25 cents which leaves us with the remaining balance for the month of july with ten dollars 42 cents which what we started with and we spent 625 
that would leave us with four dollars and 17 cents to end the week and for eating out for eating out i had two dollars and 52 cents i visited my mom you guys i am so glad i went to visit her she gave the girls 20 dollars, so they had some fun uh we went to mcdonald's and we had some eating out fund which is great you might say McDonald's is the closest thing to me so yeah we bought some cookies or nuggets whatever the case may be so we spent seven dollars and 67 cents in McDonald's 767 and we had oh, wait hold on so we had two dollars and 52 cents plus 20 uh that were given to us uh will give us 22 dollars and 52 cents for this week we went ahead and spent seven dollars and 67 cents which leaves us with a balance of 14 dollars and 85 cents another amazing end of week we have some funds for eating out uh we have some gas money this is looking good so far okay and that pretty much is it for all of our transactions categories now i want to uh do let me bring this up here i want to do the math for all of my transactions because i do want to see how much i spend for each category and then compare maybe to what i had to see if i need to make some adjustments in my budget so i'm going to do that real quick here i might just speed it up because it might just become too boring Okay, so we are back on our monthly budget. I am going to now fill out the, the all of the numbers um, as we do this. So for my mortgage, 2097. For my electric, it was a less. Okay, here it is. It was 102.55, but the extra funds, uh, we threw it into our smallest debt. Uh, so I am going to say that we did spend the $138, which wasn't truly. Maybe I should say that it was for that I'm not here it was 102 dollars uh for in two cents 102 with 55 with 55 for groceries we budgeted for 150 but the total spent on groceries 190 dollars for this week 190 so you see tracking my expenses helps me see uh what i should be allocating to each one of these categories uh more accurately car insurance uh 130 is 133 and some change but i like to round out the numbers maybe i should have done the same thing here uh, for gas it was 280 it was a very slow week on uber so i didn't really make that much money which not fun at all so we spent 190 versus the 280 right there it's not like we saved that fund because we don't have the money but this is what i usually allocate 70 dollars, and you saw the whole deal there for internet we paid the full amount my phone i don't remember i think my phone was a little less oh it's here i think my phone my phone was a little less uh 51.40 was for my phone. 51.40. I don't remember that, but okay. Yes, yes, I remember now. That's why I was able to throw extra money into my Best Buy card. Yep. And then for Netflix was also $10. Looking at my debt, all of the minimum payments were paid in full except for that loan so this was the same i didn't add anything for anything uh from my actual fund ah except for this one this one it's not 340 i threw in there 300 dollars, which was woof, very difficult to do but hey this 300 dollars also actually i should explain in case there's somebody new these numbers are based on my three-year uh, payoff plan that i have for my credit cards 
uh, if I pay these on each one, then I'll be able to pay them all within three years, which is my goal. Still using the debt snowball method for all of these. Uh, my car is 204. This is the only one that is due. Uh, it's still pending to be paid. I'm not going to mark it because it hasn't been paid. So yes, uh, let's leave that there. Let's do the math real quick here so that we can um, kind of verse versus this number so 1862 i am going to deduct the 558 so technically it should have been 1304 and we pay 29 plus 54 plus 74 plus 161 plus 181 plus 300 plus 261 plus 204 $1, Minus thirteen oh four. The forty dollars that we save from here, which is looking good for groceries. The sinking fund. Uh, if you don't remember, if you don't recall, I did allocate uh, for my sinking fund twenty dollars. So I do have uh, my fund of twenty dollars for my sinking fund. So that is very good for household. The plan was to technically spend forty, uh, but not actually save 40 if that makes sense maybe i should categorize these differently every quarter i do a bulk shopping in bj's so i want to start a little mini fund for that so that i don't have to use so much of my budget uh whenever that time comes uh, around for household we spent i thought i was going to spend 40 dollars, but i ended up spending 48 78 i know how to allocate my funds uh, and then for toiletries, $15.43, $15.43. I don't know if you remember, guys, but some of the funds for my toiletries, I, I move them around. I try to make my budget work for me. So if I have, if I need household materials, but I have them in, I don't have any funds and I do have some on toiletries, I take those funds and use them according to however I need them. I am not that strict when it comes to moving money that I have available. So for medical, I don't have anything saved. Nothing for medical. For eating out with allocated $20. Eating out 45 15 For car maintenance, I wanted to do $70, but I was able to save $40 from my Uber Eats side income so that's what we are ending the week with forty dollars for uh my car maintenance fund so let's do the math so the plan was to allocate 190 dollars in the end we spent 169 with 36 Sense. Now, when it comes to savings, I didn't budget for anything, but on each week, I was able to roll some over some funds. From paycheck number one, I rolled over $4.99. And for my second paycheck, it was $34.29. Uh, we didn't budget for anything on either of them. $34.29 plus $4.99. Total savings uh, of $39.28. I am just saving up so that I can have a $300 buffer in my everyday savings account. That is the purpose of this fund. I am going to deduct the 558 from this uh, because again, uh, this loan now, the payment for this now belongs to the new month. So it is 5012 minus 558. So technically, our budget is $404,054. And let's do the math here. We came under budget by $184.69. This is what we came under our bills and all of our sinking funds and everything in between. I do not have these funds uh, with me because we've thrown some of them, we've thrown them into our um, debt snowball as well as at leaving some for um, the savings, the savings but buffer uh, in my checkings account. So I'm going to deduct that. Um, so that is minus 39.28 minus 
$138.60. That means we have $6.50. 81 cents somewhere there i have to check in my bank account to see what the actual uh current balance is from my um little buffer again i should have 50 something i don't have these specifics and the reason why i say i don't know if they are in there right now is because i split my mortgage bill into twos so technically i always have half of my mortgage saved out in my account so technically it's not like my account is at zero there's always at least half of my mortgage in there and right now it's just half plus the little buffer i have which is 50 something like i said so uh that means that we were under budget actually maybe it's, it's more than that 28 Technically, I am under budget by $46.09. So $46.09. You guys, I am impressed at myself. I am very proud of myself. I, I feel like I, we've come a long way. I am really happy with how the numbers have turned out. Our bills are paid. Our credit card has been taken care of. We have one paycheck uh, in my bank account right now that is going to be the start of my August budget. I am so happy. July has been a success. Last month's budget, I was over by $58.30. And this month, we are under budget by $46.09. I am so happy with these numbers you guys thank you so much for joining me please if you enjoyed this video consider subscribing if this is something that you enjoy follow along and i hope to see you guys in my next video goodbye